everyone. I'm sitting here with Sharon Cowan of Cleaning Business Consulting Group. We are at the ISSA convention, and we have been spending the week talking to all sorts of business owners. And I was talking with Sharon just the other day, and she told me about a phone call she got from one of her consulting clients who had this big opportunity to put in a proposal right. on about a, what, 65,000 yeah, 65, square foot building. Now, up until this point, this cleaning business owner has been cleaning just smaller Small, office Small, under 10,000 square feet. So Correct. all of a sudden these red flags are going yeah. up in Sharon's <laughs> head. And so we get this a lot. A lot of people, they get this huge opportunity and there's dollar signs going off right. in their mind because right. that's a big building and you know right. you can make some big bucks with that. Well, so what's can. the dangers? Well, you know, some of the dangers are that, you know, the companies are not properly staffed, they don't have the supervision in place, and this is a huge jump, and I <clears throat> sometimes equate it as going from zero to, to 80 miles an hour in a second, and there's always danger with that. Being able to financially fund a startup of this kind is something that a lot of them don't think about, mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that they will have to front the payroll for this before they get their first paycheck. They're going, there's going to be a financial output of equipment and supplies. There's going to be training of supervision, training of people, and it's going to demand quite a bit of their time and resources. So the, one of the, the main dangers is that if they lose money on this account, which is likely in some cases, if they lose money, they will drain the profits from their core business. So they stand a chance to upset and disrupt what they have going well in their core business right. and their core customer. Now I'm not saying don't ever take those kinds, be very careful and don't always just look at the dollar signs, but look at what you have to take to get there. And maybe if you're doing 10,000 square feet or less, your next step is 15, 20, 25,000 yeah. square feet. Get comfortable in that arena, then gradually build to those bigger ones because when you get to the bigger ones, by that time you'll have all the systems in place and all the structure and all the equipment and it's not going to be a huge potentially dangerous thing for your company yeah. so they all sound good but not necessarily are they yeah and so it's great when these opportunities come your way but you know what we always used to do is when we got to the 10,000 square foot level Pretty soon Steve started, we were just always observing buildings in our community mm -hmm. and so now he's looking at the 20,000 square foot buildings and right. eyeing those up and, and started graduating to that mm -hmm. until we got to the bigger buildings and, and that's the safest way to do it that's not going to be disruptive to your right. company. Right. So. And I think the owners have to just be comfortable with saying no. It's okay to say yeah. no on those. And let me recontact you, keep your relationship going with these people over the years, keep in touch with them, mm -hmm. contact them, drop in, say hello, build that relationship, and then when you're ready, they're going to know you. Yep. So it, it's, it makes much more uh, fiscal sense to do, it, to do it that way. All right. Thanks, Sharon.